Welcome back. This is James Kelly. This is Seven Deadly Deceptions of Network Automation. Before we start, just a quick thank you, as usual, to everybody that subscribes on jameskelly.net, follows me on LinkedIn, shares and likes my stuff there, or wherever, Twitter, uh, SoundCloud, YouTube, is where I post the podcasts. Right, just a big thank you. So, Seven Deadly Deceptions of Network Automation. We start off with a quote from the great man, Leonardo da Vinci. The greatest deception men suffer is from their own opinions. Network automation does not an automated network make. Those same words started my formative piece on DevNet Ops. It reasoned that we must elevate DevOps culture, processes, and principles above technology, end random acts of network automation, and instead pursue holistically automated network engineering and operations. The professional that implements this, from code to production, is the Network Reliability Engineer, NRE. The NRE implements DevNet Ops for network infrastructure, just as the SRE implements DevOps for apps and platforms. It's been a journey discovering DevNet Ops and NRE. With the help from peers and NRE friends, I've faced debate and dogma forged in the fiery cynicism of the networking eye and host silo. To share these lessons, let's overturn some anti-patterns and deceptions, starting with the opposite of the NRE. Those who say automation is not for me. One, it's not for me. You used to hear people say, we're not Google, we don't have those problems or need those solutions. Today, everyone is mad for Giphy, Google's infrastructure for everyone else, and racing for the same outcomes as the unicorns. If you think you're a thoroughbred horse in a different race, you're utterly deceiving yourself and your business is heading to the glue factory. Before we can change our minds, we must open our minds. Life is an inside job. If you're a network admin, the rationale to retitle yourself as an NRE is right in front of you. Look forward. You'll see a future less doldrum, more creative, and one where you have more control over your own destiny and that of your organization. And more pay and job opportunities, too. Yes, NRE is an actual job title. With retitling comes reform. You used to rely on vendors for all network engineering, but this relegated operations people to technicians instead of technologists. As an NRE, you don't need to hop over the proverbial dev ops wall to engineer boxes or SDN systems. You just need to lower the wall and pick up where vendors leave off. Their day of product delivery to market and to you is your day zero, where you automate not only integration workflows, but outcomes like accuracy, reliability, scale, efficiency, and ops speed. Deception and myth number two. It's all about automation and technology. Rod Michael said, If you automate a mess, you get an automated mess. Automation must follow architecture and accuracy. It's common for builders to want to build, but you cannot be so swift as to forget the blueprints. There's a balance to strike between build and design. To be sure, a DevOps mindset promotes build iteration, as did Mark Twain when he said progressive improvement beats delayed perfection. Of course, it's not all planning processes or forging culture, but technocrats tend to obsess over technology too much. Network reliability engineering and DevNet Ops is not only about technology, just as racing is not only about cars. Number three, it's only about open source. Look, I'm a proponent of open source and believe it aligns with human nature. From GitHub to the growth of the CNCF and so many other projects, the open source watershed has hit. However, especially in networking, there is plenty of closed source. Fortunately, open APIs make integration and automation possible even for closed systems. Today, open APIs are increasingly commonplace because they're not a nicety, they're a necessity. Moreover, the ASCODE, GitOps, and CICD movements shine the automation spotlight onto pre-production pipelines and processes. These trends are supported by and apply equally to open and closed source software. So don't let closed source deter your DevNet Ops desires. 
Deception number four, it's incompatible with ITIL, InfoSec, INO, or hardware. You might believe there's no need for infrastructure, rapid iteration, agility, and experimentation. But just because you don't need all the benefits of a DevOps culture doesn't mean you don't need any. You may also deceive yourself thinking networking is different, but just because network hardware is more foundational than application software and less flexible today doesn't make DevNet Ops ideas impossible. In fact, it's precisely because networking is foundational that having it automated is crucial and will add simplicity and flexibility. First of all, there's a large software side to networking, SDN, NFV, network management, where we can more easily apply DevNet Ops behaviors. Translating some behaviors like CICD and chaos engineering to network devices, however, isn't straightforward. In a past article on the new stack, I examined the difficulties of aligning agile to today's architectures in network operating systems, boxes, and topologies. In re-architecting networking for DevNet Ops, we ought to draw inspiration from microservices, obviously a catalyst for the traditional DevOps transformation, because smaller architectural units allow for smaller, safer, and speedier steps of change. Finally, many DevOps practitioners have overcome organizational policy barriers like ITIL and InfoSec, as well established in the DevOps handbook, success lies not in rallying anarchy. Rather, the DevOps principles automate in security, compliance, and consistency. Number five, it's not obvious where to start. Well, the territory is now increasingly marked with maps training, and didactic case studies. But don't mistake studying for starting. Complement your wonder with some wander. Try playing with Git, sharpen up your programming fingers, and give that tool a whirl. There are many paths to success. Even if your journey is serpentine, even if you lose true north, you may pick up useful tools and lessons in unexpected places. Like building any new habit, it's useful to have a buddy, or better yet, a two-pizza team. You'll progress quickest in green fields. So choose a team project that has no technical debt when you're just starting out and take small wins and small risks. When you allow for failure and iteration, you record the lessons into processes and automated systems and you grow people. The easiest place to start is at the beginning of the project stream where it's small, not down in the ocean. Start at day zero and flow from pre-production to production Build as simple as an automated pipeline as possible to integrate artifacts, secrets, and configuration as code. You can mature, expand the middle, like pipeline orchestration, building testing integration, more testing, immutable deliveries, and finally orchestrated deployments into staging and then production. Eventually, beyond networking and SDN automated deployments, you'll have other in-production automation extensions for system integration and event handling that can follow the same pipeline. Deception number six, it's all about speed. I wanna go fast. That was a quote from Ricky Bobby. You remember Will Fairhill played him in Talladega Nights. Keeping up with the pace of technology is ever harder. And so goes the saying, the future belongs to the fast. But when it comes to automation, the NRE title tells us something very important. We must focus on reliability. Speed alone will never win a race, and speed without reliability is a glorious way to crash and burn. Just ask rocket scientists. If you're a race car driver, one smarter than Ricky Bobby, you would say that to finish first, you must first finish. A twin burden today equally as confronting as the need for speed is complexity. You know, if Dijkstra, a networking hero for his SPF algorithm, were alive today, he would be a champion of network reliability engineering simplicity, a coincidental portmanteauing of NRE and the Juniper Anthem. Because of his famous quote, Dijkstra's famous quote, simplicity is prerequisite to reliability. In summary, we need speed and we need smart. We must be consistent with simplicity, effectiveness, efficiency, and reliability. Smart. While employing the economies of velocity, 
agility, scale, and reach. Speed. We all love going fast, but it's not how fast you drive, it's how you drive fast. And finally, deception number seven. It's all about DevNet Ops and NRE. The hype of DevOps and SRE is probably warranted if you seriously put it to work. I believe the same is true for DevNet Ops and NRE. However, these are just signposts. Like the Buddhist lesson that the finger pointing to the moon is not the moon itself. If you miss the moon for the finger, you've missed the glory. The real truth in technology is that transformation is the only timeless topic. Digital transformation has been around for three decades, and digital intelligence transformation is probably on its way next. To manage transformation in technology, equip for an evolvable architecture. In process, incorporate continuous improvement. And in people, embrace continuous learning. I'll leave you with a final quote I often use when speaking on these topics. It's not the strongest of the species that survive, nor the most intelligent, but the one most responsive to change. That was Charles Darwin. And finally, waving the NRE flag live at Open Networking Summit. Next Wednesday at 11.15, Matt Oswalt and I will be speaking on NRE and DevNet Ops at the Open Networking Summit. We will be joined by Doug Lardo from Riot Games, who will share his lessons from the front lines. If you happen to be there, please join us. If not, take to Twitter and let us know what you think there or comment below if you're reading the article on how you see the evolution of the NRE. That's it for this episode. Thanks again. This has been James Kelly reading the seven deadly deceptions of network automation. My own article published Wednesday, March 21st, 2018. And again, thanks to everybody that likes, follows, or shares this stuff. You can find more on jameskelly.net and my LinkedIn. I'll close with a quote from Turing Award winner Tony Hoare on reliability. He says, the unavoidable price of reliability is simplicity.